Hey Zach. Yep. I need to top up my touch and go. So can you go into the BH petrol station in front? No problem. Thanks. All right. I cut me. Okay, the illusion is done. So convenient. So we are in the X terrain and uh, I think it's been about a year since I drove the car last and at that time this was one of the most advanced uh, 4x4 pickups you could get with a lot of car like features so that hasn't changed a lot and now this car has got a little bit more improvement to the features. Uh, exterior wise there is only the change to the front grille but uh, there are a few other improvements that are more for comfort and convenience so first of all uh, at night if you're in the car you have ambient lights so when you open the door or when you close the door you the ambient lights will come on uh, and of course when you turn on the headlights your ambient lights also come on in the car and it's a very nice blue color Unfortunately, there's no choice of colors, only blue. And also, when you get in and out of the car, when you open the doors, the ambient lights come on for about 60 seconds. That's to help light up the interior of the car and give you a kind of a welcome uh, light, yeah? And uh, another convenience feature is the wireless charger. And it comes with a Type-C connector for you to charge your phone on your own if you, want, if you don't want to use that wireless charger or if your phone doesn't have a wireless charger <laughs> some of our old phones don't have it yeah the USB-C is charging only not data yeah the yes thanks Zach you're welcome okay the x terrain also comes with digital camera front and back and also uh, we have new seat design or new seat covers of course they are leather lah. okay so about the vehicle itself we have 190 PS from a four-cylinder, three-liter, direct injection, turbocharged, uh, common rail engine. And it also produces 450 Newton meters of torque. So drive is to the rear wheels normally. And there's also a switch to four-wheel drive using an electronic uh, diff, yeah? You can also have a four high, four low, and also two wheel drive high. The diff is now standard. Yeah. Uh, previously, the X terrain like this one had a rear diff lock, but now uh, what Isuzu has done is they have got a diff lock for all variants. That's to give the vehicle more traction, especially in construction sites, and even the single cap versions have the diff lock so for those of you who are using the dmax for off-road usage this is a very good piece of news suspension is double wishbone in the front with uh, coil springs and at the back you have uh, semi elliptic leaf springs yeah brakes are vented discs in the front and drums at the back 
so this is very much in tune with other type of uh, trucks in this category and that was the forward collision warning telling me that I'm a bit near to the vehicle in front I think this is in the settings how far you want the warning to come never mind it's good to have that feature so it reminds you to keep your distance away from the people in front of you for safety I've turned off the lane departure warning because when we are going up Genting we're going to be changing lanes quite a bit of course uh, we look behind in the rear view mirror yeah when there's no car behind we don't need to signal yeah you only signal lane change when you're in heavy traffic and you need to tell people that you're changing lanes but when there's nobody behind you you don't do that okay so Zachary we are getting near to the exit to Gunting Highlands yes uh, how do you feel very full from breakfast <laughs> <laughs> okay it's, it's actually quite late in the day so we don't think we'll be going very fast we're just checking out the handling because uh, in the previous drive I had with the BMX X Terrain I never went up the Genting so this is a good chance and we are now carrying a total of three persons total weight maybe about 250 kilos I hope plus bags plus bags and also we are, we have easily 300 kilos of stuff oops wrong car yes i've been driving you know when you drive continentals and protons and then you drive japanese cars you sometimes get the signal <laughs> stop mixed up okay so as i said before it's likely to be is there a sports mode yes where in the driver's seat <laughs> oh there's no sports mode yeah no but you have manual Oh, manual shift. Yep. How do you go to manual shift? To the side. Okay, to the side. <coughs> and... That's downshift. Okay. Downshift is to pull back. And upshift is to push forward. Uh, most probably, you upshift by itself. Lah. There's something moving at the back. No, it's me. I think or a seatbelt. Yeah. Because I'm sliding over. But on the other seat. Always wear your seatbelts for. Colors do we have here? There are four colors, and the blue is not available for the X terrain. Yep. I think we have to go to the left because everybody is going on the right. Okay, folks, today we are just going to test the handling of the car. Looks like you only test the handling and like, nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> at, a very at a slow optimistic, speed. Uh, yeah. Driver ahead of us. Yeah. It looks like he is not going to change lanes for us, but there's a bus in front, so we just have to be patient and wait until he passes. I noticed he was flashing somebody else in front, but he's very erratic. He slows down he's halfway through the corner. Kind of slowing down the wrong spots. Oops. And now he finds out the turning circle of the bus. Okay, we'll give him about 30 seconds to see whether he moves over for us. He's not going to, right? No. Okay. Traction control was working to slow us down just now.
actually the handling is not bad. Quite good actually. Yeah. Huh? Feel much more narrow the back. Yeah. Quite well done. The seats are pretty supportive. Yeah. These new seats, they are sort of like a little bit of a semi bucket it holds you. But it's one of the wider semi buckets. Yeah, this is for big size. So it just suits your size, Zach. Thank you. <laughs> it's a bit big for me. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit big for me too. Really? So I feel good today. <laughs> okay, nobody behind us, so I just changed lane. Break a bit for these cars because I uh, see this fella came out to take his line. <laughs> yes, a veteran of this road. I want to turn Mike on. Oh, hi, Mike. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, road works. So you gotta be careful. Yes, I am being careful. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe they're trying to replace it. Somebody demolish it. Somebody. Somebody remodel it. <laughs> I'm quite impressed actually. <laughs> Yeah. Leaf springs? Yes, leaf springs. Mm. Doesn't feel bouncy. Possibly they have a anti-roll bar at the back. Okay, we'll have to check on that. a lot. That's called aromatherapy, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he moved over. Thank you so much. is perpetually wet. I think there's an underground spring somewhere here. So Maybe if you go through this, it. yeah, if no, it's an underground spring. The water is coming out from the bottom. Mm. And if you take this corner very fast with a lot of sideways uh, forces, mm. it's going to catch some people off guard. Yeah, there's a lot of sand there. As yeah, well. so it's not, it won't be the best for grip, lah, that part. So you meant some, the train will catch somebody there? Mm. Yes. You can call it the Long Kang Maneuver. <laughs> Somebody set this uh, AEB to sound from a very long distance. Yeah. Mm. I think it's interesting that the car in front is slower than you. It is? Mm. How can the car be slower than us? Uh, yeah, how come? I think he's slowing down for the van. That's nice one, one guy who looks at the rear view mirror. Yep. He signaled when we were quite a distance. Okay, so we are at the first roundabout. A very uneventful and slow drive. But one thing it proved was that the car handles quite well yeah truck 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 okay pickup truck 
<laughs> Not lorry ah. Yeah, I don't lose, I didn't lose my breakfast. <coughs> oh yes, there's one more item I forgot to mention. Now they have 18 inch wheels. Ah, new design. New design. Was the old terrain X terrain with 18 inch? I believe so. Yeah, so they have new 18 inch wheels. Okay, so we move on to part two. Thank you so much. Very good to see that there are still some people who do look in the rear view mirrors occasionally. <laughs> Okay, with 450 newton meters of torque and the weight of this vehicle is a little bit over two tons so you will appreciate the 450 newton meters of torque on a lighter car of course it will be higher acceleration but because it's two tons <clears throat> it's still a respectable uh, acceleration rate look at it go very nice so you don't feel like there's any lag of power you know or lack of power, so to speak. <coughs> oh, they've uh, changed the suspension setup. Is it? Uh, to take a bigger payload. Ah, so it's stiffer. Yeah. So is it more comfortable? It doesn't seem to be uncomfortable. Hey, right, Mike, at the back, how is yeah, it? Yeah, it's not good. quite good, yeah? Yeah. Actually, I'm quite surprised. I mean, you feel the roll. Yeah, it's but it's... Tall. But the damping is quite good. Yeah. So now it takes um, 775 kilos, up from 580 kilos from before. For this truck, mm. I thought they were about one ton. Yeah. It is quite good. Huh? Yes, no screeching so far. Yeah. We're not going fast enough. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> It's a bit crowded today. Yeah. Yeah, so it's 775, less than a ton. Oh, less than a ton. Mm. Okay, I've done one additional thing. I've turned off traction control. How many people carry a ton? Not many. You have one here? You carry a ton? Yeah. There's only one ton here. <laughs> okay, they've changed the lines of this corner. <laughs> I turn, I try to turn off traction control. Okay, traction control is off. So you might get a little bit of uh, wheel spin now coming out of the corners. control off. Yes. <coughs> but there is no slide. That one you must attribute to the driver. I'm sorry. <laughs> the the <laughs> non-sliding <laughs> is due to the driving oh it's a driver problem <laughs> yeah yeah good driver will know how to make it slide a poor driver tries not to make it slide so that you will stay on the road 
<laughs> Poor driver goes on goes in a straight line <coughs> at the corners. <laughs> Actually, I'm quite amazed with this car. I'm very surprised that truck. they can, yeah, truck, truck. I'm surprised that they can do the things they can do. Mm. Yeah. This is impressive. Oh, he's cutting corners. Yeah, I expected that. Not to worry. I anticipated his driving line. Yeah. <coughs> and this one too. Mm. So always look ahead and watch the wheels of the car in front of you. And I knew this fellow would cut in slightly. Oh, hey, traction control worked, even though it came on again. Mm. So I guess it's, uh, no, it was off. Yeah, it was off, it but it came uh, on again. It's a safeguard. Yeah. You felt it work? Yes. Yep. So even with it off, in a very extreme situation, it, it comes back on again, back. and it stays on. <laughs> So up to that point, we were not driving extreme. Nah. Okay, I'm taking the path of least resistance, the outside lane. Zach? Yeah. Every time the front collision warning activates, right? Mm -hmm. There's a red light in front of the front Yeah, of the yeah, there's a red light. In the meter, right? You, you mean the flashing in the meter? No, flashing on the... Oh yeah, yeah, oh, that, that, that strip of LEDs. Yeah. Where? Right in front of you. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It also flashes in the display, but when you're driving... Uh, yeah, up there. Oh, it's a reflection. Yeah. It's like... That would be more obvious than yeah. the one in the meter panel. Yeah. Because you wouldn't... In driving in such a, situations, you won't be looking at the meter panel anyway. <laughs> I don't think he can jump. Should I? Oh my god! No, he didn't jump. <laughs> because I had breakfast. So this was a very mild drive, right? Yeah. 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 Sorry, I wasn't dramatic enough. <laughs> No, it's the traffic and all and of course this truck is not very very powerful uh, as compared to a car lah, you know and it doesn't handle as well but anyway uh, overall I think the x terrain did very well for truck it yep. handled very well yep. yeah of course it's not like a car center of gravity is higher yep. and the weight is heavier but uh, one thing we know the brakes didn't fail uh, maybe we didn't go fast enough lah. Mm. Uh, they were adequate and the suspension is very good it handles very well and my camera turned off can you turn it on again yeah that's it okay and my camera turned off it might turn off anytime but anyway that was the D-Max X Terrain on Genting Highlands. Thanks for being with us. And till we meet again in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And this is a thumbs up. <laughs>